Acting on my impulsive thoughts. Are you okay? What is wrong with you? Why do you keep breaking? That was expensive! No! Don't! Don't! Oh my god! No, not wow! No more, okay? Get out! Get out of the kitchen! Using a super long spoon to see my husband's reaction. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Acting on my impulsive thoughts. Are you okay? What was that? Are you <laughs> What's wrong with you? No, no, no. Okay, I'll do it too. I'll do it too. Okay, make you happy. Make you happy. <laughs> what is going on? Dressing and acting like my husband. All right, babe, I'm gonna go to Hooters now. Tonight, okay? Oh, you're gonna put this? Yeah, don't call me. Okay, I won't call you. Okay. This is the second day of my peeling cycle. I already did like all of this, but what do you mean you did all of that? Too. You have more? Yes, baby. Your arm too? Oh my goodness! Yes. It's not just my face; it's my whole body. Look. Did you do the rest of your body already? Yeah, I did my neck already. This is the last. Oh one. my god! Why is it so stretchy? Babe. Is it so thick? Oh my god, baby, you need to exfoliate. Can you hold this for me? Uh. I just, <coughs> this is like the last part. Oh my god, it feels so good. Look at this, babe. Oh my, baby. That's oh so my. Good. <laughs> <coughs> Hi guys, I just wanted to list a couple of my New Year's resolutions that I wanted to do for 2023. First, I want to continue running at 5:30 a.m. every morning. Um, I want to make sure I run at least two miles this time. But continue. I want to continue. Yeah, I'm going to continue waking up at 5.30 and then running. And then after that, I'm going to continue making Andy like breakfast in bed at 6.30. Um, you've, never, what? you've never done that. Yes, I have, baby. Okay. And then afterwards, at like around 7.30, I'm going to continue going to the gym. I've been going to the gym <laughs> so cons Are we sharing like impossible? Hey! Are we sharing impossible? Okay, impossible New Year's resolution. Is that the video? Okay, I'm going to continue uh, flying to my job every morning at 4.30 in the morning. What? I'm not... And then I'm going to teleport to the gym around 8, uh, you know, 8 in the morning to work out for four hours every day. Talking about breakfast in bed for Andy. Are we talking about impossible stuff? Introducing my dog-loving husband to our new kitty cat. Hi. No, babe, no, no, no. <laughs> Whose cat is that? This is our cat. His that's not our cat. His name is Pluto. Baby, that's not our cat. He's our cat now. He's not our cat. Betty, you mm. like him. Why did you get a cat? He's so cute. That's your cat, that's not my cat. One hour later. <laughs> so cute. He's so cute, Papa. I told you you'll like him. <laughs> He's, he's alright. <laughs> I guess. 
What? I have a serious question for you. Why, why, why? Okay. If I committed a crime and I had to go to jail for like 25 years, would you go to jail for me instead? Hell no. Why? Why would I go to jail for something that you did? I would go for you. Hey, if, if you did the crime, you're going to do the time. Baby, you're supposed to like take a bullet for me. Says who? You're supposed to like die for me. Says who? Everyone. Baby. Those people that have said that have never been to jail, okay? Do you know how many big what? people are in, do you know how many big people are in jail, man? Very, very big people. What does that mean? Okay. Do you know what they would do to a guy like me? I would go for you. <laughs> that's a, that's a you problem. I'm not going to jail for you. Baby, can we get Starbucks? Sure, yeah, we can go to Starbucks. Okay. I, I'm not gonna get anything though. Why? What do you mean why? Why not? Babe, coffee makes me diarrhea. You ruin everything. Why don't you just get something with me? I don't want to get it by myself. I ruined. It makes me die. It makes me leak. It's You're like a waterfall, selfish. but out of my butt. No, I don't want any more. You're being selfish. You literally ruin everything. Okay, okay, okay. We'll go. Okay, I'll get something. Mm, thank you, Bobby. You happy now? Yeah. We need to hurry up and go home. Why? What's wrong with you? Because I need a shit. Andy. Bitch, what? Don't call me a bitch. <laughs> Okay. Okay, it's C, C, it's your turn. Careless of you to do that earlier. Damn, you hit me so hard. <laughs> every day, you annoy me. Fuck, all you do is complain every day. Get out, I don't want you here anymore. Haven't I told you I loved you? I don't care. Just say it, just say it. Kangaroos are what you look like. <laughs> losing your mind, you are. <laughs> Michelle's not losing her mind. You are. No, you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you. <laughs> Projecting on me, are you? Why am I talking like Yoda? Questions a lot you are asking. <laughs> All right, challenge is over. For real this time. Hi, guys. Today, we're going to talk about three things we would change about each other. Yeah, I wrote on a receipt because I don't have my phone. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go first. No, I'm going to go first. No, you went first. No, I'm going to go first. Okay, fine. When Michelle poops and she doesn't turn on the fan for whatever reason. She doesn't turn on the fan and then she doesn't do the little poo poo thing. Like, you know that, like, smell, odor, eliminating poo? Yes, I do. She doesn't do that. And so, when I walk in there, I have to, she doesn't, she doesn't doesn't tell me, hey, babe, be careful, I poop. So I walk in there, and it's just gas. Hey. Well, first of all, my poop doesn't even stink. It's your poop, and she thinks nothing smells. I'm like, all poop smells. Okay, your fart smell, too. But she's like, yeah, it's like butterflies and rainbow. My turn. You don't brush your teeth before you eat breakfast. Is that weird? I don't think that's weird. Okay, because if I don't brush my teeth before breakfast, then I can just clean it after. It tastes bad, doesn't it? What type of plaque do you have? What flavor does your plaque have? My plaque doesn't have no flavor. You're the real. I'm allowed to do That's not weird. Is that weird? That's not weird. Tori, the second thing. She thinks her feet don't smell, and she says, convince me otherwise. And she, like, throws her socks in my face. She's like, see, babe, does it smell? And I'm like, babe, it smells like Satan's butthole. It smells so bad. And she's like, look, it doesn't. She, like, stuffs it in my nose and my mouth. <laughs> My feet do not smell. So gross. Her feet smell. Everyone's feet smells. Okay, well, you know what? My second one, if you want to talk about smells, you pick your belly button and always stick it in my face and make me smell it. As if it's like, I sweat it so many times, she's like, it smells different this time. No, it's not the same every time. It smells like if you took, like, pickle juice, and then why does it smell like? Put it on a blanket, and then put it in a car trunk on a hot day, and then just left it for, like, two days. <laughs> Okay, last one. Why does this smell? She wants to cook me dinner and she can't cook for shit. Everything she puts on the stove burns, okay? We've gotten like 40 pots and pans because every time she decides to cook, it like, it burned onto the pan. She's like, oh, baby, look what I made. I'm like, what the fuck is that? Then maybe you should cook your own dinner. I cook way too, I cook so often nowadays because she can't cook for shit. Anyways, hey. Oh my gosh. Okay, number three. Last thing I would just get a cookbook. Just get a cookbook. Yeah. Last thing I would change about you is the warts and the corns you be having on your feet. I can't help it! No way, I'm not sad. And I know it's because you have your dirty black toes. You don't clean your feet, so you get warts. I clean my feet. I just have this, like, thing where if I, like, you know, get nervous and stuff, I don't know how warts happen. I, I have warts. Well, it's nasty. Go to a podiatrist. <laughs> Yeah, can I get my steak medium rare, please? Hee <laughs> hee. What are you talking about? Why are you flirting with our waitress the whole time during dinner? 
Baby, you thought I was flirting with the waitress? Yes. I was just ordering steak. No, you were like giggling with her, cracking jokes, making conversation. Is it because she has big boobs? You think I'm into big boobs, sweetie? You probably flirt with her because she has really big boobs. Honey, I'm not into big boobs. I married you. <gasps> Bitch! Babe! What? Are you cooking? What does it look like I'm doing? A woman should never watch their man cook. Okay. Be right back. What are you wearing? I'm not watching you cook. <laughs> Hello? Hello. This is Chase calling in regards to a transaction made with the account associated with this number. What the fuck? A transaction of $9,975.63 was made to Louis Vuitton on Monday, January Oh my 9th. god. Do you approve this transaction? Is he crazy? No, no, I don't. Did you say yes? No. No. The transaction no, no, has been no, approved. No. You will no, be able no, to no, your no. current balance through the Chase app. What the fuck? He's calling me. Hey, yeah. What the fuck? What? what, the fuck? what? I know with you, nine thousand dollars like two purses. What'd you get? I didn't buy anything. Did you at least get me something too? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> it's a prank. Oh, I'm hanging up. What? Okay, guys, it's that time of the month again. It started kind of early, but the shedding has start. Oh wow! Shed. Look how nice it is. Yeah, I'm gonna try to do it in one. <laughs> what is that, baby? It's shedding. I'm shedding. What do you mean you're shedding? You know this, baby. It happens every month. You're like a snake. We've been together for like Oh my years. god, what is going on? Oh my god, this is so perfect right now. Babe, what is... Can I touch it? You won't touch it? It's my skin. Uh, <laughs> is that for real? Babe, we've been together for Oh my god, does like... it smell bad? Can I smell it? You want to smell it? What does it smell? Ow, oh my uh, god! That's so too, gross! Don't pull too fast at her. Are you being for real? Yes. What the... Do you want to help me? <laughs> ah! Ew! Ew! <laughs> uh, uh. Oh. Here, you can pull off. Don't do it too fast, it hurts. Ah! Oh my god, if he ever treats you poorly, let me know and I'll beat him up for you, girly. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't like that girl. Are you talking about Jada? Yes, I don't like that girl. Is that the same girl that keeps asking you to go to like lunch one on ones? Baby, it was one time. Well, I took a one time. She afterwards. wants to fuck you. How does that equate to her trying to fuck me? That's how girls act when they want to fuck you. As soon as we got there, she went straight to you and was like, Oh my God, you look so good today. And completely, like, she didn't even acknowledge me. Okay, but, but I, I introduced you to her and then she said hi. Okay? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Can she, you? Oh my God, you look so good today. You smell so good. Babe, can you just try to get along with her, please? No. Okay. I don't like her. Babe. <sighs> Babe, what? where did you learn to order like that? What are you talking about? What'd you just order from Starbucks? Oh, I got a grande cold brew with four pumps of chestnut praline. Chestnut praline? Almond milk. I'm not done. And then chestnut praline cold foam. First of all, since when did you even drink almond milk? Huh? You don't even know what almond milk is. Okay. And chestnut praline? Who did you learn that from? Mom. Mom doesn't even drink coffee. She's allergic. Who did you learn that from? Um. Get out. Okay. Get out. Okay, okay. Dang, Danielle posted a bikini pic? What? Isn't it like the middle of December right now? I mean, it still is good, so. I mean, yeah, it's in. It's fucking December. It's so stupid. It's so cold out. Right, babe? Right? Michelle. What? What the hell is this doing in our car? It's gas. What do you mean? This is not gas. This is diesel. That's gas, baby. Michelle. I just got the cheap. We always get the cheaper one. What do you mean? There was a green one and a red one. It's like Christmas theme. I just got the cheaper one of the Christmas two. Christmas theme? Yeah, we always get the cheaper one. Baby, there's no such a thing as Christmas theme gas pumps. This is diesel. It's always diesel. Green is diesel. What's diesel? It doesn't go in here. It doesn't run. This car's not going to run. You fuck the car. But we always do that. We don't always do that. What's diesel? You're kidding me, right? I literally go in there two seconds. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I switched it out. 
I thought we were gonna have to walk home for a second. You think I don't know what diesel is? Hello. Hello, this is a collect call from the Orange County Jail for inmate Michelle Lee. What the fuck? Say yes if you would like to accept this call. Yes. Bubby! Hey, what the fuck is going on? Bubby, can you can you come pick me up? Pick you up from where? From the OC jail. You're in jail? What the fuck did you do? Bubby, I went to Target and you know those cups that I've been looking for? I finally found them. Some fucking lady was trying to like steal them from my cart, so I beat her with it. You beat an old lady? Yes! Fucking mug. Well, she shouldn't be stealing in the first place. What do, what do I do then? I don't know. Can you just pick me up? It's cold here. Michelle, are you fucking kidding me? Can you just pick me up? <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What the fuck, babe? You actually believe that I would do that? You're crazy enough to do stupid shit. Like that. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> babe, what the hell is that? What is this? What is that? It's good for your skin. <laughs> Why does it smell like shit? Ugh. What? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, it smells like shit. What is that, babe? That's my sweat. Sweat from where? <laughs> it's good for your skin, but where do you put this shit? It's my butthole cover. No, it's not. <laughs> Babe, no, it's not your butthole cover. You know when I, oh my god, you know when I like wear a thong? It's to cover it, just in case. It's not. It is. <laughs> you put it on my face. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Big Brother advice part two. Here we go. Sorry, my hair is not cooperating with me today. I don't know if it's just Korean culture, but when I was growing up, I was taught that men and crying did not mix. I was taught that showing any type of emotion or crying showed weakness. And since I was the oldest in the family, I was taught always to be strong. This meaning that no matter what happened, no matter what anyone said, I was not allowed to cry. Suppressing my emotions and suppressing my thoughts led me to get traumatized mentally and emotionally. So my little Tongsengs, my little brothers, I am here to tell you today that it is okay to cry. Just because you cry doesn't mean that you're a sensitive person. It doesn't mean that you're a crybaby. It just means that you're going through some tough shit. So to all my younger brothers out there, if you feel like crying, go cry. It'll help you feel better. I promise. Okay, babe, just put up a number and I'll try to guess it, okay? Okay, okay. Two. Lucky guess. Four, four, five. What the frick are you doing? Why? How are you doing that? Six. What the frick? <laughs> Am I getting it right? Two. What the? <laughs> what? How are you doing that? I caught you. <laughs> I can't believe you did that earlier. What? You were like thinking arms with that girl at the wedding. Baby, I'm part of the wedding party, okay? I'm a and? groomsman. I have to walk her down the aisle because she's a bridesmaid. Okay, you were like dancing with her later after too? Because they were introing us for the reception, okay? It was an intro. I bet you thought she was pretty. I bet you like dancing with her. You were all smiling and happy. Are we not supposed to be happy that one of our friends is getting married? That's cheating. That's cheating? Yes, you dancing with other girls, linking arms with them is cheating. I mean, she does know how to throw it back. Betty! Oh, it's your birthday today? Let me teach you how to sing happy birthday in Korean. Here we go. One, two, three. 생일 축하합니다. 생일 축하합니다. 사랑하는 우리 생일 축하합니다. Woo! Happy birthday! Blow the candles out. Blow the candles out. The difference between Seoul and Busan accents. Kyopo edition, part two. Nuna. Nuna ya. Sarange. Sarangandi. Hajima. Ah, tamara. Ya, kegatin shiba noma. Atta, kegatin shiba noma. Ya, chugule. Ma, chukushimna. Opaya ma midra. Today, we're gonna talk about the ics we have for each other. We've been together for five years now, living together and married for two. Yeah, so we have a lot. I've been waiting for this one. 
Number one. Why don't you go first? Number one, leaving hair all over the floor and bathroom walls, so I went and walk in there, it's like a horror movie. Do you, whenever you lose hair, do you just put it on the walls? Or you just throw it on the floor? Hey, you don't see me doing that with my hair or my pubes. Okay, but like, you don't have that much hair. Okay? Clean up after yourself, this is gross. I don't. You know what? Anyways. <laughs> Number one. When you fart while we're eating. Okay? Do not fart. Do not fart. Do not fart. No, no, do not fart. Do you fart? Like, you do you fart. Ha <laughs> ha. Babe, do you fart? Listen. Babe, do you fart? Think you're being a gentleman? When you, like, turn the other way? Yeah, I turn the other way. I lift the other way. If she's here, I lift the other way. He's always like, But babe, I turned around. Okay, do you not fart? But regardless, do you fart? I'm eating. Go somewhere else. I can't pull it up my butthole while I'm eating. It just comes out sometimes. Go somewhere else. Okay, whatever. Number two. Pooping and leaving it there. <laughs> and then saying, oops, I forgot. Like, sometimes I go to the bathroom and <laughs> there's a gigantic log. They, they look oh, you smell bad. The gigantic log in the bathroom? Sometimes I, what the hell is that? Sometimes I forget. Who put that there? Okay. I didn't put that there. This is my first time taking poop. That means Michelle did it. And I go, Michelle, what is that? She goes, oh my god, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. At least, like, my poops are logs. Yours is just little pebbles. But okay, number two. Okay. Those stinky ass toes. Are, are toes not smelly? No! Yes! Your toes have, like, little black crusts in the corner of them because you don't clean your toes. So then they start, they start to stink and they smell sour. You know what? My rebuttal for that is this girl clips her nails and then doesn't clean it up. So it's like a fucking minefield in our apartment. Oh, so I'm walking around, and, ah! and I look down, it's one of her nails, like, embedded into my foot. But you have black toes, so you're nasty. Okay? Okay, what's your third one? She eats durian, not saying that's gross. She eats durian, and then wants to talk to me on the way home. I'm like, no, you smell like shit. He doesn't want to taste Jerry. It smells like gas. I'm like, I'm Chinese. I told her I don't like that. Can you respect your husband? Stop talking. Number three. Can you stop? Number three. When you ask me where something is without looking first yourself. Why do you do that? I'll let you talk. Why? Do you not bark? Here's the thing that Korean people and a couple other nationalities do that I think everyone should follow. So it's a pretty well-known rule that when you walk into a Korean person's house, you have to take your shoes off. A lot of people make jokes and say, whenever you walk into an Asian person's house, no shoes in the house. But honestly, if you really think about it, it makes a lot of sense. Let's start with the fact that you're walking outside onto the sidewalk and the street with those shoes on. People can spit on the floor, there's cigarette butts, there's oil from cars. When you're walking around on the grass, there could be dog poop, bird poop, mud, the list goes on and on. And don't forget about porter potties and public restrooms, which are littered with germs and dirt and, you know. And because you're walking around in all that grossness throughout the day, it shows respect and it shows that you care about the person's house when you take your shoes off before entering. So next time you're about to walk into someone's house with shoes on, think of this video. Maybe you should be doing that at home too. Big Brother Advice, part one. How to tell if a guy likes you. Just a quick disclaimer, I am not speaking on behalf of all guys. I am only talking about personal experiences that I've had in the past. If a guy likes you, he's probably gonna walk you to and from class and probably to your car. He'll most likely be texting you throughout the day and probably sending you good morning and good night texts. If a guy is interested in you, he's probably gonna poke fun at you and you guys are probably gonna roast each other, but don't get that confused with someone that's a complete asshole. He'll probably be super flexible with his time, always looking for opportunities to hang out with you. If he can drive and you guys are at a school event, he'll probably ask if he could take you home. And lastly, if he gives you one of his hoodies, he probably likes you. Right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> Here are three more things that a Korean fuckboy will say to a girl. Yeah, <laughs> 벌써 이렇게 늦었네. 여기서 자고 갈래? 그게 침대가 하나밖에 없어서 같이 자는 게 어떨까? 그게 내가 잠을 잘때 원래 아무것도 안 입고 자서 괜찮을까? 오케이. Cool. Do you like someone that's Korean but have no idea how to tell them? Well, today I'm going to go over a couple phrases that might help you out. 시작해 볼까요? 잘 생겼어요. 오빠, 잘 생겼어요.
멋있어요. 오빠, 멋있어요. 귀여워요. 오빠, 귀여워요. 이뻐요. 누나, 이뻐요. 매력 있어요. 누나, 매력 있어요. 섹시해요. 누나, <웃음> just kidding. 누나, 섹시해요.